All right, so at this point, I have all my fenders out on the port and the starboard side. Only one on the starboard side because I hit that big, giant, fancy boat next to me. Um, I think I have my lines good to go, but I'm not really sure. And there's just crap all over the boat. The boat was not set up properly for sailing today. It was still too dirty with just junk everywhere. But I'm going to go from here, and I'm going to get into my slip. All right, so coming in the dock all by myself, no one to help me, and I'm about to start making my turn into my slip or ducking spot, whatever it's called. Um, I'm going pretty slow. I've learned that you want to go real slow, otherwise, otherwise it's called coming in hot. So here we go. I'm turned in. All right, uh, boat's going forward. Okay, going here we go. Slow. Boat's going forward. I'm lined up perfectly. There's a little bit of a south wind pushing me off the dock, which is the problem. But let's see what I can do. Where the hell's the dock? Where's the goddamn dock? There it is. Okay, there it is. There's the cleat I have to get my hands on. So, I got the boat in neutral. Momentum's taking it forward. And I've got to run and get the rope over that cleat. Here we go. And I fucked up. I caught the very edge of it. But I, man, I do not have that. So I worked the rope a little bit and decide that it'll, it'll, it'll grab the cleat as I'm going forward. So I'm back into the cockpit. Um, engage forward gear and that will pull my boat over into the dock. The, the $500,000 boat is not more than 15 feet on the port side. So, no, 15 feet on the starboard side. There it is, that line's tight. Forward gear pulls me straight into the dock. Perfect. Fenders are out, no problem. From here I run out and I, I tie off what's called the spring line here from the middle. And I think that's going to be enough. But in reality, with just this line and the apt line, uh, the nose sort of drifting straight towards the other boat. So I'm going to go in here because I think to myself, okay, I'll, I'm good to go. Turn the engine off. Now, well, watch. Okay, engine's off. I'm ahead of the front of the boat. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to look. Oh, right now I'm trying to talk to the Mexicans. Because I'm all excited that I talked by myself. And uh, they don't they don't care. Hey, guys, I talked you alone. And they're all like, uh, okay, okay, senior. Thank you for telling us. And I'm trying to get the, uh, the four line to tie off while I'm doing that. Look at how much the boat has turned in that time period. So I get the engine turned back on, get that forward momentum or that forward pressure going again, and it pulls the boat right back into the dock. And then I can finally get the forward, the bow. I finally get the bow line on, and I'm done. If I had missed that initial throw, which I kind of did miss. I think I would, have, I would have no option but to reverse out and try to do the whole thing over again. Because if I had tried to jump up the boat and do it, the boat could have been too far away from me to even, to even get back onto again. It could have been impossible. 